So tonight I'm back in Blackpool staying at a guest house. And the guest house is called Kirkstead Guest House. Now it's very, very colourful, very multicoloured. Uh, it accepts everybody. And I'm only coming here because one of my subscribers asked me to come here. She's called Jane, I think her name is. So I thought if a subscriber asked me to check out somewhere, I will go look at it and have a look round. I'm not saying I'm going to be perfect at showing everything, but I'll try my best. Now I'm very unsure of the difference between a guest house or a B and B or an hotel. And like I say, Jane's asked me to come and have a look at this one, showing about booking it herself. And I've had quite a few names of hotels. So if you want me to check out somewhere, please do comment below and let me know. I've got a notebook of about 50 places in Blackpool already. But we're not going to do all of them straight away. We'll scatter them out because I want to go to different places as well. But just look at this. This is fantastic, isn't it? And just behind me, you've got Blackpool Tower shining up. Green, yellow, red, purple, and like a nice pinky colour as well. Now, I say a nice pink colour because you've seen the colour of my guest house where I'm staying tonight on the thumbnail picture. It's got a lot of the rainbow colours. So, I think the owners may be the same sex couple who's running the uh, the guest house what I can do is just get to the location and I'll bring you back I am literally on the toilet I've done what I need to do there's no toilet roll at all oh my god this has to be the worst bed I have ever seen in my life. And I'm not exaggerating. And if this is something that you do like to watch on YouTube, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and give me a video a massive thumbs up. It really helps within the YouTube ranking. But most of all, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. We've passed 7,000 subscribers already. That's fantastic. I am literally on the toilet. I've done what I need to do. There's no toilet roll. At all. I could do the sink wash, but there's no sink, it's just the toilet. I don't really want to be shouting down the stairs either. <laughs> there is a couple of empty tubes, perhaps round about it. So I thought while I'm in a toilet, I may as well give you a quick toilet tour. So there's been a cladding, there seems to be the water pipe and this uh, plastic cladding all over. The window does not shut, so that's wide open. That's not too bad for the bathroom. They give you a hand wash, but can't be bothered putting any toilet roll. Just empty tubes. There's a toilet roll holder here, but nothing in it. And as you turn round, that's the... Uh, side of the bathroom so it is pretty dark here because there's no light there's a light socket but there's no light in it and when you come to my room there's just a glass door and it is a fire door so it does shut well it's not a fire door but it's got that spring so it closes and here is your Shower room. 
which once again is very very small so you've got to make sure the shower door is closed and somehow The door closes, but I put my arms out. My each elbow is touching from the door to the shower glass, and they do have a towel here, but no toilet roll in the bathroom. So there is signs of mould, broken shower rubber there, a lot of mould in the corners. As we open the shower. But once again, don't give him much room. This is your shower. You've got a fan in here. I'm just not sure it's wise putting electrical stuff right next to a shower. This will be all sealed up anyway, but I'm not sure about that should be so close to it. You can see where they've tiled and they just haven't quite cut it right, so I thought I'd fill it up with silicone. This is quite the same really, a bit mouldy around the sides, someone's left some uh, shampoo and stuff, head and shoulders. I didn't know you had dandruff. I don't. I didn't know you had dandruff. I don't. I absolutely hate that advertisement. <laughs> well, I'm reenacting it. So the shower head is pretty clean. A little bit of lime scale there, but we can get that in the zone showers at home, can't we? So let's see if I can turn it on without getting wet. There we go. I'm going to take it to warm up. Well, it is on number 10 by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm getting hot water. So apart from the bathroom being small, it works. It's not that dirty either. Like the toilet wasn't that dirty. Just need some bog roll in it. And I'd be all right. I think you can guess what I had to do. So tonight I am in room one, right next door to the shower. I hope there's other showers in this building. I'm uh, every time someone comes for a shower. Now I've been in this room for let's say uh, let's take the keys out of the door. Probably a good start. Why can't I do this one-handed? Oh, come on! Can't do it one-handed. I don't know why. <laughs> Shouldn't be really hard work, should it? There we go. Yeah, so I've been in the room about a good 20 minutes, just resting. Uh, you may better tell by my face. It may look a bit swollen in time around my eyes. Just suffering from having like an infection in the face. So when I got here, I just needed to relax. And the medication that I'm taking does cause urgent rush toilet problems. That's why I need to go to the toilet. Anyway, the room, I am very surprised with the room for the amount of money that it cost me. So let's have a little room tour. But the best thing I'm gonna show you in a minute. So straight away in the room, I see someone's left over. What are things called? Anyway, yeah, croissants, that's what they're called. Someone's had a croissant and left it in. And I must say, these drawers, they do look like they're on the right slope coming that way. So it's the flooring level, I don't know. The drawers, yeah, they've got some problems. A bit of stainage chipping away. Second one, all right. Third one's all right. I always expect to find something in there, but no, I found a, a quaton. 
you get two cups now these cups do remind me of my grandma and granddad's wow this cup doesn't even have a hole to put your finger in or whatever you drink whichever one you drink it with so now like this one you can put your little pinky through it this one you can't that's that's very weird you get one two three four black roasted coffee which is going to be very strong four tea bags and two three four five six seven sugars but look at the state of it all around here tea stains so that's not being cleaned properly it's no good setting them out looking right nice and your little bowl is full of tea stains the kettle does have some water in what i've been advised by a lot of people to pour it away don't use it wow kettle won't come off that's something i am going to do now The kettle looks fairly clean as well, but we'll put some more water in that before we decide to make a drink. And you get two spoons, now my bag is here, so once I move the bag out of the way, you get this chair, what well, don't match any of the furniture, well none of the furniture match anyway. So you get your table and you get another one at the bottom, I don't know what you'd put on there maybe, maybe your buns, your cakes. I don't know, let me know what you'd put on there. You get this chair. Well, it's got a lot of war on it, but you know, it's a chair, people sit on them. And you get this cushion to protect your bum. And here, you get this cupboard. But there's no ink cupboard, but it's clean. It really is nice and clean. There's a bit of water damage here, I'm sure you can see that. And here. Some hooks, one, two, three, four, five hooks. I don't know what you'd put on there if you try putting your jumper or your coat or something. Maybe it's your tea towels. Tiling, very clean. It's just got a nasty hair there. People say it's a pube hair, but I'm unsure. Unless you've been washing the uh, parts in the sink. The sink looks nice and clean. You get a little air freshener as well. So you get a mirror, I guess that's if you're having a wash, but the mirror just looks out of place, it just doesn't look part of the thing. And you get like a floating wardrobe, but it's very loose, so it's not probably a good idea for me to continue moving that around. Same on this side, you get your Wi-Fi password there I will be connecting to that two coat hangers your coat your jumper maybe fire actions here I do like to see that in rooms no smoking I love to see that I'm a non-smoker I said in other areas where people who smoke in a room I had to leave the room that's a little coat up here well, that's broke your door wow I think that's meant to be attached to the door for fire reasons. <laughs> Bit of information here. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to sit there reading all that. Guest kindly smoking in this room. It goes on about your Wi Fi password there. Have any questions? Hope that you enjoy your stay and would come back so they're hoping you return and you've got this gap here for pipe work what's this oh. it's another curtain reel we've got a curtain reel up there yeah got a curtain reel there so there's a spare one and we do get a few cobwebs just there the view outside is just of rooms yep the window opens and shuts so that's a bit of a bonus 
That is the kitchen there, see that light? That's the kitchen, I was wandering around it earlier. Curtains, well, they are what they are, aren't they? Funniest thing is, is they say, I hope you come back, but they can't give no toilet roll. That is a shocker, that. I'm gonna have to go out and buy some. And we've got this weird, just box, planted in the middle of the wall there. I don't get that. There's a lot of holes in the walls. Two, three, two, three, two, four, six holes in the wall there. And as you come here, there's some more holes in the wall. If you press on this wall here, when I rested my head earlier, the wall is actually crumbling away, just behind it. It feels like there's a massive hole here and they've just filled it up. Listen to the difference. Very hollow there, it seems like there's a big hole and I've just filled it up with something. The uh, one wall is green and they give this fancy lighting as well. Look at this light. It's quite fancy that. To me it looked like it's been broken, they've just glued it back together in any old position that it wants to go together. Now I saw one thing earlier, well I thought that's quite good. I saw him bring the bedding up out of a fresh packet of bedding. So that tells me my bedding is brand new and clean, what is always a good thing. Let's take a look. Yeah look, still got the crease lines of the bedding. What's just come out of the wrappers. Okay, so I say my bedding's clean. I've just found something on the bedding. Now you can see it's it's all square packed. Here, all the creases here. And you can see there where it's creased, you know, where it's been packed and they've unpacked it all. But then I found this. I don't think you're going to want to focus in on this. No, I knew you won't. So, okay, false alarm. I thought we were a dead bed bug. I was thinking, how is this possible when the bedding is clean and it's brand new? All of it's just come out of wrapping. When I were down in reception, I had to wait 10 minutes while they were sorting my room out. I saw him come down with the wrapper in. And the bedding does go with the front of the house, let's say. Bright pink. Anyway, let's have a look under the sheet. Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, well. We are going to have fun with this UV light later, aren't we? Because this bed is absolutely horrendous. There's big stains here. This mattress is just like, so bad. It's so dirty. From from there, it's, it's just like revolting. Here as well, here as well. This mattress looks like it's just been dragged off its street. Look how dirty it is there. I'd be just as well to go get in my car and sleep in my car than this mattress. Let's flip the mattress up and let's have a look at that. Wow. Oh my God. This has to be the worst bed I have ever seen in my life and I'm not exaggerating this bed looks like it's being dragged from the bottom of the street by someone who couldn't lift it and they've said you want a mattress mate yeah I'll have your mattress take it up to room one. Oh my god I thought I got special treatment you know putting up bedding out and tidying my room and signing me up to wi-fi for my tv show you that in a bit and then I pulled the bedding back. 
Look at the state of the bed, the mattress, the thing we're supposed to sleep on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I wonder what that is going to look like with a UV on, light on later. Look, let's get the mattress protector back on. Let's get the sheet back on, what's nice and clean. Let's get the quilt cover on, what's clean. Let's take a look at the puller. Let's have a look at the quilt as well. I think that's just going to be as bad as well. So the pullers are quite nice. They're not too bad. Seem fairly clean. So the quilt is spotless. There's not wrong with this quilt at all. There's no stains on it. No nothing. I will say something. This carpet is black bright. And before I came in the room, I think he sprayed the carpet with some fragrance there, what's turned it green. Because it is quite damp there. Yeah, it smells like some sort of cleaning product. The bed base is just as bad as the mattress, really. Yeah, I think we can forgive a bit of the mould in the corner. The absolute reckless of a disaster of a mattress. No toilet roll. The dodgy mirror. I don't. I don't see the point of the mirror to be truthful. It's a bit of a, it is what it is. But this is the best thing. We only have YouTube. We only have YouTube in the bedroom, people. So here's a question what I want to ask you. Would you leave your belongings in this room or in any cheap B&Bs, hotels, guest house like this. All my stuff's in my bag there. So I ain't got no out yet. Just my mobile. So uh, I'm taking my bag with me. Because I just don't like the idea that someone can have the, the same key. Obviously the, the, the owner would have the key, wouldn't they, come in for any reason. But I just don't like the idea of having my bag in there. So I'm going to go out for a bit. I'll come back. And then we'll get the UV light on in this room. We'll do a bit of cleaning. Let's see how much dust we can pick up. <sighs> I'm looking forward to testing that bed more and the carpet. Expanding, expanding foam there, isn't there? The whole door seems to be all done by expanding foam. Does look very pink from the outside, doesn't it? It's a very wet, miserable night in Blackpool tonight. It's raining. It's just one of these wet, miserable nights, isn't it? Let's hope somewhere's open where I can get something to eat. I am extremely hungry. Well, it's obviously got to be cleaning time. I went to Nando's and had some uh, chicken burger in there. And I just want to say hello to the subscriber that uh, pulled me over earlier on today and we had a little chat and he said he enjoys the cleaning part. I'm sure it's his pink marigolds. So if it's the first time you've viewed my channel, I like to before I get settled down for night, nip around the room with some wipes and bits and bats like that and just see how much muck I do get off certain places. And I always tend to aim for the door frame, your mirrors, top of the TV, maybe around the sink. So we'll start with the door frame this time around. Yeah, it's nice to meet subscribers. It's nice for them to say what they like on the channel. Wow, that's quite good. Yeah, it's nice to hear the opinion, because after all, I'm not just doing this in myself. Obviously, I want viewers, 
I want people to follow my channel. So if it means I have to do bits what other people like, well, why not? I want to keep my channel growing. I want people to keep subscribing away and liking my videos. Check out that already. But that is not bad to some of the B&Bs or the hotels that I've been in. That is not bad at all. I'm just going to whiz over the back of the TV. Yeah. Let's see if this is mold and it wipes off. Yeah, it's well stained, isn't it? Well, that one is. I'm not sure if that is mold actually. I think that might just be some sort of marking in the wallpaper. Right, let's have a look at the mirror. Mirror's always a good one. Guarantee that. Well, I'm blown away. I can't believe how clean this room is. I've got no to report on the dust level of it all. Compared to the Britannia Hotel at the weekend, last weekend, what were real bad. Wow. They do clean these rooms. But I can guarantee you one thing, they do not get rid of the cobwebs. Telescopic feather duster. Jesus, the whole ceiling is moving there. I better be careful there. I think you can see it. The whole ceiling is sort of like damaged. I think it's only a matter of time before that comes down. You can see where it's cracking there. So all this will come down in time. And I would hate to be the person in the room what that does it to. I better stop messing around with that, Anna. So it's about time. I see what this UV light pulls up. See what we see on the mattress. We know the mattress is going to be bad anyway. But we'll have a look at the walls, we'll have a look at the carpet, the door, the sink the table and then we'll make his way to the toilet area and the shower curtain well shower room let's say but for now let's start this investigation right let's start with the radiator there seems to be just a small stain there there's some unwanted marks like brown marks on it i'll let anybody guess their own thoughts there there's a good one there but this cupboard here look at the state of this cupboard this cupboard is absolutely a right mess. Even the side of the radiator. Wow. <laughs> Top of the cupboard's not too bad. Yeah, the sink. Yeah, it's just mainly dust. This stuff in here, the sink on the wall, uh, tile, sorry. This could just be like soap, maybe toothpaste and stuff like that. Wow, some right mark there, isn't there? Yeah, there's definitely watermarks there. All that could be just done by the sink. The curtains don't look too bad either. They look pretty clean. The cushion, bit of discoloration going on there. Flip it over. Let's have a look. Mm, seen worse. Table, definitely some. Uh, stairs on the table there aren't they 100% tea coffee 
hot water definitely marks there on the drawers the drawers don't look too bad a few little marks here running down bit of a mark there isn't there mm. this wall is just like fairy lights everything's just like pointing out saying look at me i'm here skirting boards once again load of running maxed out skirting boards you can see the bed base there look at that this bed base has got a lot of marks as well oh this bed base is disgusting this legs has been dragged up the street as well look at that one it's all the way over look it's like mold is growing off the bed it's damp it looks moldy it looks horrible just there look at that that is disgusting even the carpet looks better than that and that's got some hell of a set of stains in it but it's not too bad on the carpet really yeah it's got a few stains here but it's nothing compared to the other ones that I've stayed in so we made his way to the bathroom and bottom of the shower screen is dirty and been cleaned you see all the muck there but look at that there's a weird white mark there on the floor it's pretty weird that the tiles don't look too bad this could be actually ruining water stains. Well, I say that until you see this one. And some more further up there. I didn't realize that spotlight was dangling out. Hmm. Yeah, in the shower, the shower's not much more difference really. No, this could just be like soap and stuff, you know, from washing your hair, stuff like that. Still a lot of marks. I think a bit of a wipe down won't go amiss. Decent stands over there, aren't they? So I've made my way to the toilet room. Mm, it it does look quite clean. There's a bit of a stain there, but I can put that down to someone's sweaty hands, maybe try to pull the light switch but there's no words for this if it is cleaning products somebody needs to think about cleaning it because that is real bad really bad all around there as well some of them's got urine stains i'd take it but everywhere else seems pretty clean well apart from the back of that board there that board is absolutely minging. Yeah, we all know what mark that is. Definitely some gentleman's been in here morning and weed everywhere. Right, I'm gonna stop messing around. We've discovered the room is pretty clean. The bathroom's got standard stains around the toilet, the shower curtain, standard sort of stains. Probably what you'd have at home. What does that matter have to say for itself? We've already seen the stains. Let's get the UV light on it. How do you do that now? Up, down, left, right. 
up, down, right, left, one minute over in it. Up, down, left, right. Whatever it is, God help us. Here we go, people. Let's take on the bed. Funny thing is, I've got to sleep on this end at night. <laughs> so straight away, we're drawn to these two stains here. And you can just see everywhere we look, even down there, look at that. Massive stain there. Everywhere we look, there's just stains. I don't think sometimes this camera picks it up too well. Now, that's a stain. I get that, they're stains, uh, body fluids. Some of it's dirt, you know, not being cleaned or the sheets come off and people slept on it or it's being dragged up a hill. But sometimes the muck don't show the UV light. It only really shows the stains. But still, it's very, very, very dirty mattress, this one. Let's flip it over and have a look here. Yeah, that is a big, big stain there. You can just see it there. Yeah, look at them, just everywhere. This side at mattress is really bad. Just look at them. Look at that corner, that corner's ridiculous. That is, shouldn't be letting people sleep on this mattress. Yeah, look more juicy big stains there. Few splatter stains, make your own mind up on that one. The bed base. Hmm. On top it's not too bad. The headboard seems part of a few stains here. Headboard don't seem too bad. <sighs> so a lot of people have been asking me about this UV light. I'll share an Amazon link in the description if you want to buy one of these to test around your own home. I think this one was 30 some at pound, but this is a really good one as well. That's our share link in the description if you want to buy one. I think it's worth having just if you go to these hotels by yourself and stuff. But there's no excuses for this. Do you have one of them people who live near you? Anytime he gets hold of something, always knocking on your door wanting you to buy it. Hey mate, I've got a banging great mattress for you. I'll sell you it for a fiver. Fiver, go on a fiver. All right, I'll, I'll let you have it for two pound fifty. That's one of these two pound fifty mattress. Because this has been left outside, brought in to dry out, aired it out a little bit, bit of air freshener, and chucked on a bed. This is not stains from people staying on them. This is stains. The filth is from being outside. That's all I can say. And yet, it's the worst mattress I'm ever going to sleep on. So, apart from the mattress, this guest house seems really clean. It's kept up to, it's the gentleman who let me in were polite. Uh, I can't say much wrong about it for the price as well. What a bargain. I can't say every room will be like this. I can't say everyone in the mattresses are going to be like this one. But what I can say is if he cleans this room, and it's one of the cheapest rooms in this guest house, if he cleans it like this as well, like all the other ones, well, I can imagine the whole place is going to be nice and clean. Now, when he let, when he let me in, we had a little chat and everything. And I said, what was with the bright pink building and all the colourful blinds and stuff? And he actually says, it's a very clever business idea. He said, everyone's welcome. Same sex couples, straights, whichever way you want to, you know, on the scale of things. Everyone's welcome. And he said, you won't believe the amount of business they get from advertising as it is. He said, there's barely a weekend that goes by when this guest house isn't full. And he said, that's just because of the way it is. So really, it's not to do with being run by a same sex couple or it being a guest house for same-sex couples, it's basically 
very, very clever business idea, isn't it? And that's all it is, a very, very clever business idea. And I think that's very smart of them as well. Well, good morning, people. Eight o'clock in the morning. I slept very well, honestly. Even though that mattress is disgusting underneath, I slept very well. View outside, I'll show you this morning because I couldn't show you last night, so dark. A bit of a mess, let's say. Got some ladders on roof. A few bottles. I don't know. There's quite a lot of mess. Them two are there. Cause some bright noise this morning. Yeah. Not much to look at. So there we have it people, another night in another hotel or B&B or guest house, whichever you want to call it, done in Blackpool. Apart from the mattress, it wasn't too bad. So £19 for that room for one, for one night. Could I go back is the question, I know some people are going to ask me this, I get asked a lot. I think I could go back, I'd just probably check the mattress in front of him saying where you buy your mattress from, mattress from mate so if this is things that you do like say you want to see more of on here somewhere doing my little icon or whatever you call it from youtube now uh, press that you better subscribe to my channel i'll share another video up here for you please click and view that one but most of all thank you very much and i'll see you next time